Hey everyone, this is Scott from CertMedia.com, and in this video I'm going to be covering a plugin called WP Reset. I was asked in a comment of another video on what I what I use to reset WordPress websites, and I'm going to give you my general thoughts and opinions on the plugin and when you may want to reset a website. So WP Reset makes it very straightforward to just completely kind of get back to a start starting zone. One thing that I typically recommend is if you're on a host like Cloudways where you can easily set up applications and delete them and then re-add them and easily assign the domains within a couple of minutes, it's typically better to go ahead and do that rather than using WP Reset. But if you just want to save some time and to go ahead and get a quick, easy, complete and total reset, WP Reset is a great option. So what you do is you install the plugin, you just search WP Reset in the WordPress.org repository underneath plugins and add new. From there, you'll be given a nice little menu and it basically gives you a giant warning screen. We are not gonna read any of that because if you're installing this plugin, you wanna reset the website because if you're doing it like I do, maybe it's a staging URL, what I'll actually do is if I don't wanna delete the application, I just wanna reuse it for another video, but I wanna eliminate possible issues, I installed this plugin and I just let it reset everything. It's so straightforward that there's really no reason not to. And unless I've done a large amount of changes on a staging domain, I try to avoid just reinstalling the application because these are staging domains and they never get published to a live site. So under WP Reset, when you install it, you get this nice little menu here and it's fairly straightforward. You can choose to reactivate WP Reset after you run the reset. You could choose to reactivate all currently active plugins after the reset. And then you could choose to reactivate the current theme. So you might be wondering, what does this do? Well, you have the tools section, and this is what makes it a little bit easier to understand how you can easily, and I mean easily, reset the website back to square one. You could delete all transients. Transients are just a little snippet. It can be quite large at the plugins and efficient, saved in the database that basically just is a temporary storage for a plugin or a theme to hold data. If you're requesting an API, for instance, maybe the developer caches the response so that way it doesn't need to keep regenerating on every load. This is just a very efficient method. The great thing about transients is that they're always safe to be deleted. This will include expired and non-expired transients. The only thing that you should be really worried about here is Nothing really. Transits will automatically regenerate. I've never seen a situation where a transient doesn't regenerate because that's the purpose of them. You can, you're always safe to delete transients, but they also have the least real impact on the website. So we're just gonna skip all of that good stuff and come down to the next folder. You have the clean uploads folder. What this does is it will delete everything in the uploads folder so that way it's treated as if it was a fresh install of WordPress. So it will delete everything that you've uploaded, all of your images are gone, all your PDFs, videos, whatever was in there, completely and utterly erased. One thing you should keep in mind is it does not modify the database. So even though you deleted the files, the database will still have the entries for those files. So you should keep that in mind. Typically you run this after running the general reset tool. Typically you run all these after you run the general reset tool in the first place but these are quite useful if you're just looking to knock out a quick issue. You have the option to reset the theme options. This requires themes to use the WordPress theme modification API. If they don't use that and they have their own system, their options will not be reset. The great thing is, is a lot of good theme frameworks that your theme might be using. Uh, Avada, I think uses Redux, Redux options framework. It has built in reset to go back to default settings and almost every major theme now has a way to reset the options back to the way they were when you first installed it. You can also normally export and import them. So this tool is mostly just for helping you if you're trying to find, if you have a theme for instance and it doesn't have a way to reset it, you can try this, but I, I wouldn't use this as your first way of trying to do it. You then have the option to delete themes. Deleting themes, of course, is quite a heavy handed approach. This will delete inclu including your active theme. So it will delete all themes together. If you're looking to save your current theme, you do not want to do that. This tool will modify the database and files. So just keep that in mind that when you delete this, all your themes are erased. If you need one of them, you're going to have to back it up or have it wait or have a way for you to re-upload it. 
you can delete all plugins except for WP Reset. If it deletes itself, well, then there's an issue. This will modify the files and the database, so just keep this in mind if you're looking to delete a ton of plugins that have just been installed over the site to get a fresh, clean start. Empty or delete custom tables. What this does is it deletes every custom table in the WordPress.org repository, not, not in the WordPress.org, in your, <laughs> could you imagine? It deletes every table in your own database. And this is quite useful, actually. I always run the delete drop instead of emptying the tables. And the reason for this is if I install a plugin, let's say Yoast SEO, it installs a bunch of tables in the, into the database. This will delete all of them and only leave the, rep the WordPress core tables. So it's just a good way of removing extra tables from your database, but keep this in mind, if you're deleting tables on a live site, it'll delete all of them indiscriminately. So the best way to do manual deletion of custom tables is just to manually delete them from phpMyAdmin. You have the ability to also delete the HT access file. This is normally a quick fix. If your site's having an issue or you have some sort of caching in place, deleting the HT access file and then going to settings permalinks to save it will regenerate it with the default WordPress ones. You have the ability to do snapshots of quick operations such as the transients, the theme options, and the custom tables. You do not have the ability to back up files using the snapshot functionality, so that's something to keep in mind. So what you normally do is you'll go ahead and you'll just select the following items that you want to keep. I want to keep my 2020 theme active and I want to keep the WP reset. Let's see what plugins I have active to help illustrate this. So Breeze is installed by Cloudways and we're going to go ahead and run the reset functionality. You just go ahead here. You can choose to create a snapshot, but this is staging, so I'm not going to do that. We're going to go ahead and reset it here. And then it's going to take a minute and it's going to automatically keep you logged in because it's going to tell you that it's been recreated with the email address that you chose. Now, when you come over here, you'll see that the plugin Breeze was deactivated, but not deleted. And the theme is still active. So WP Reset is a great tool. If you're just needing a quick way to kind of get back to square one, it's a great option. I wouldn't use this as a total wipe though. My, my general recommendation is if you have a live site and you have WordPress installed, maybe you are on cPanel and has Softaculous or whatever the installer is, that the theme that the hosting provider gives to you, just delete the entire WordPress install, including the database and recreate it. It's a little bit more extra work, but it deletes all the extra database items. This plugin leaves some behind and it deletes all the plugins, all the themes, and that's the true way to get back to square one. But if you've made a few changes here and there and you just started building and you just want a way to kind of get back after you've broken something or you don't like the way that you've done, this is a great option. Just keep in mind that if you're working on a heavy production site and it's been around for a while and you really want to go back to square one, just doing an uninstall and a reinstall is honestly the best way to go. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and goodbye.